and welcome to another purveyor of light Photoshop quick tap. Uh, today we're going to be answering a viewer's question uh, that was submitted and uh, I realized that you know I never really have explained it. I've said it a hundred times, thousand times in the videos to, to create a clone stamp layer or a stamp layer but I never did take the time to explain what I'm exactly referring to and why. Uh, so I'm just going to make a video here really quick, okay, on explaining visible stamp layers, what they are and why we use them, okay? So I have an example here of a, of a, vid, a photograph that I have that I've done some adjustments on multiple layers. And so if I turn it off, you can see there's the beginning image and there's the one there. I've gone through doing levels, curves, a color lookup table, little adjustment on the brightness and contrast, etc., etc. Typical edits that you would do on a particular photograph. And now that I'm done, I realize, okay, I've got this processed. Maybe I want to use a, a third-party application or I want to use a filter of some kind, okay? And I go up to filter and come up on the menu and look. Everything is grayed out. I can't do any of the filters. I can't do the filter gallery. Can't do the neural filters. Can't do anything because can't use my favorite Nick collection, right? That's grayed out too. That's because in order for these filters and third-party applications, almost all of them require to work on actual pixel, pixels, okay? And if you have a whole bunch of uh, adjustment layers, uh, you're going to have to find a workaround, and a workaround is a visible stamp layer. Okay, so simply put, what is a visible stamp layer? It's taking all the layers that are currently visible, okay, and then it's going to combine all of these layers together into a single layer. Okay, so you go to the top layer, you select that, and then you hit these shortcuts, okay? Now, if you're on Windows, you're gonna hit Shift, Control, Alt, and E, okay? So you're gonna train your fingers to, to do that. If you're on a Mac, you're gonna have to use Shift, Command, Option, E, okay? And uh, so that's what you gotta do to create it. So all you do is you go to your top of your thing, you select it, and now we're gonna use that shortcut. So. Shift option, control E. And now you can see I have a stamp visible layer. And what I like to do, I like to name it. Uh, uh, I just call mine stamp layer or stamped, just so I can remember that that's a stamp layer. What is that? It is a representation of a combination of all the layers that are currently visible within the image. So if I turn these off, you notice the image doesn't change because everything has been combined into one layer. Okay, so that's what it is. But the most important thing is why we use them. Well, now we come up to filter. Look at that. Everything is available to us. We can do all the different filters. I can use my Nick, Nick collection, uh, etc. No matter what you use, now they're available because we now have actual pixels for that tool to use. So that is visible stamped layers, okay? They are your best friend. You'll be using them a lot in Photoshop, okay? And uh, that's all it is to it. So I wanted to correct my error of not explaining it before this time, but you'll find out visible stamp layers are really useful and sometimes the only way to accomplish a particular task. Okay? All right, guys. Till next week, you guys take care.